Today is a celebration, a celebration of love, commitment, friendship, family, and most importantly, of two people who are in it forever. Marriage is looking your partner dead in the eye with a straight face and saying, I love you so much that I want to get the government involved so you can't back out. So naturally when he told me that he wanted to holler at this girl in Florida, I thought to myself, wow, no way that's going to work out. Uh, good luck with that one. But he really proved me wrong. In the last five years, I've watched David grow and develop into almost a whole different person. Uh, he's become more caring, he's become more compassionate, and above all else, he's uh, learned to prioritize his relationship. These new qualities that I've noticed in David are all the exact same qualities that I've grown to love about her. It was easy for me to see how perfect they were for one another. What I love about Cindy and David is that they were whole when they met. They're not together because they complete one another, but because they're better together. The differences in their personalities create an obvious balance, but when you think about it, it's really their similarities that are at the core of what makes them so perfect for one another. They're both obsessed with their dog, Baxter, and most importantly, they're truly in love with the other. Cindy and David, my greatest wish for you is that your love will grow so deep that you look back on today as one of the days that you love each other the least because the life that you will build is even more beautiful than today. To Cindy's parents, you've raised an amazing daughter and she's a reflection of each of you. I'm so lucky today to be able to call her my wife. To my parents, thank you for all the sacrifices that you made for me. And I know you couldn't be any happier that I finally met the woman of my dreams. The wedding ceremony is a time to pause, look back, and remember all the moments that led them to this point. But most importantly, it's a time to look ahead at all the moments that are still to come. Cindy and David, we're here because we have witnessed the beauty of your union that already exists and because we want to be here to witness the celebration of this next chapter of your lives together. I, David, take you, Cindy, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. I, Cindy, take you, David, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. I vow to love and to accept you in good times and in bad. I promise to put our love before all else. I vow to listen to your needs, to comfort you, to encourage you. I shall always be your greatest supporter. I vow to come from a place of love and honesty. I promise to confide in you and always protect you. I vow to be compassionate with your heart. You are the calm that balances me. I vow to be a loving and devoted husband, always having an open heart and a patient presence. These are my vows to you for now and forever. These are my vows to you for now and forever. Cindy and David, you met by chance, but you came here today by choice. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. David, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor and incredible privilege to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. David Liang. It's amazing to see how much you guys have grown and developed over the last few years. David, words cannot express how happy I am that you finally found the one. Cheers to finding that special someone who brings out the absolute best in you.